Breast milk is the ideal food for all the babies. It has nutritionally everything. It provides the baby good immunity, therefore protect the baby from childhood illnesses. It makes the baby smarter. It has certain factors which help baby's brain grow. It has equal advantages to mother. These mothers are at low risk of breast cancer and ovarian cancer. These mothers have low risk of postpartum depression. They have low risk of postpartum hemorrhage. They have stronger bones later in life and lower risk of iron deficiency anemia. Yes, breastfeeding makes you lose weight. You burn 500 calories a day when you are breastfeeding. And this is the best way, this is the ideal way to lose weight without exercise. So you can enjoy yourself, you can come back to your pre-pregnancy weight within six to nine months post-delivery if you are breastfeeding your baby. If you're pumping out milk, you can give it within four hours if you're storing it at room temperature. If you're using a refrigerator around four to six degrees, you can use it up to four days, but you will need to thaw it before giving. And if you're using a freezer, you can go up to a month. You cannot reheat breast milk, but by thawing, you can either thaw it in the refrigerator or you can thaw it in a warm water bath, meaning you put the milk uh, in its, with its container in a warm bath, check the temperature of the milk before you feed. Common causes why breast milk is insufficient is usually stress in the mother. So if you, the most important thing to understand is breast milk is natural and hence if you are not stressed, it will come naturally. If it is not coming, then we have doctors and uh, lactation consultants who will help you by guiding you what medications you can take, what natural foods will help you. Commonly ginger, garlic uh, and uh, there are some medications available. But I think the most important is a relaxed environment. There is no one particular food that increases breast milk. A well-balanced diet should be consumed by the lactating mothers. But there are certain food items provided to the lactating moms for generations. These items are cumin seeds, fennel seeds, garlic, dry fruits, and green leafy vegetables. These items can be consumed in moderation, but we don't have studies to prove that they increase the breast milk. Yes, you can donate breast milk provided there is surplus milk. By surplus milk, I mean that your baby should be well fed and should be growing. And if there is still extra milk, then it can be donated to the bank. Before you become a donor, you will undergo medical examination and certain tests to rule out any infection or chronic illness. The breast milk will also be examined and if everything is all right, you can become a donor. Smoking and alcohol intake regularly can cause impaired cognition in the baby in its later life. Hence, better to avoid it. Newborns grow very quickly and their tummies empty very fast. Hence, they need to be fed frequently and at regular intervals, even if it takes to wake them up. A whole lot of benefits. She tends to bond well with the baby. She loses the fat gain during pregnancy very rapidly. Her uterus shrinks rapidly. Her uh, risk of getting breast and ovarian cancer uh, is very low in her later years because of breastfeeding. And those women who have gestational diabetes mellitus tend to progress very slowly to type 2 diabetes in their later years. Well, all the respiratory infections of the mother, mother can wear a mask and feed the baby safely. The only absolute contraindication is HIV. Hepatitis B virus is a relative contraindication because in hepatitis B virus infection to the mother, the baby is actively and passively immunized 
with immunoglobulins and um, uh, so it's a relative contraindication. She can mothers who are hepatitis B positive can safely feed the babies. There are very few conditions where a mother should strictly avoid breastfeeding her baby. Firstly, if the mother is consuming certain drugs which are known to cause harm to the baby, like anti-cancer drugs or immunosuppressants. Secondly, if the baby is suffering from a disorder like inborn errors of metabolism where the baby is unable to digest breast milk is when it should be avoided. The breast milk overflows basically because of overproduction. This overproduction can be if the woman inherently has a tendency to produce more milk. Secondly, it could be because the woman is consuming certain drugs which can enhance milk production. Lactating mothers should concentrate to exclusively breastfeed and avoid bottle feeds of their newborns. The feeding should always happen in a sitting up position, avoid lying down position and feeding the baby. Avoid taking any medications without prior consultation of the obstetrician or the pediatrician. The human breast milk majorly con contains water, followed next in composition with carbohydrates, then fats and proteins. They contain many bioactive ingredients which are very important to protect the baby from infection and inflammation, for the maturation of the immune system of the newborn and to encourage colonization with the good bacteria in the newborn. Yeah, this is also called as wet nursing or cross feeding when some other mother feeds the uh, baby. So definitely you can do it provided the mother who is giving the breast milk is uh, screened for all the infectious diseases like HIV, HPS, AG, HCV. And always it is better to give the pumped breast milk in a safe container then feed the baby instead of directly putting the baby on the breast because it prevents the oral thrush. Definitely you can continue but before continuing always consult your healthcare worker. There are few contraindications where you cannot continue like bleeding or when you are carrying multiple pregnancies or when you have abdominal pain. So there are some special, special conditions so better you consult your uh, doctor and then you can continue. Maintaining a good posture while feeding, having a proper breast support, especially while exercising and uh, targeting a good healthy weight in the post-pregnancy phase, though not going for drastic weight reduction, will help in a long way. Also, one should feed, wean the baby slowly and not drastically at one, in one go. There are times when women have to store their breast milk for the reason of going to work or you know the baby being in NICU and the milk has to be reached to the baby. So they need to pump the milk out either with a breast pump or manually. So best way to put it is in, in a stainless steel container. Sometimes even a pearl pet jar can work but preferably a clean uh, stainless steel container. Uh, typically the breast milk can be kept at room temperature for 4-6 to six hours. And if you need it needed to be used after later time, you can keep it in the fridge for 12 to 24 hours as well. Once you want to feed the baby uh, and you can take the milk out of the fridge and you can keep it close to your body for about half an hour and let the uh, milk temperature come down to the room temperature or the body temperature. And if you're in a hurry, you can put it in a, in a bowl full of warm water and put the stainless steel container in it so that the milk comes down to room temperature. Um, sooner. If your breasts feel heavy before the initiation of a feed and feel light soon after, that's one sign. And if your baby sucks peacefully with the teat and a portion of the areola in her mouth, and if she is exclusively breastfed and urinates five to six times a day, you can be sure she's drinking milk. Paracetamol, some vitamin supplements, cetrazine and maybe Domstel can be safely taken during breast milk. For all other medications, please check with your doctor.
there is no good break fit in schedule per se but uh, in the first few weeks uh, of uh, uh, breastfeeding it should be usually on demand that is whenever your baby is hungry the baby should be fed for the first uh, uh, one month usually it is about one to three hours and as the newborns get older they nurse less often and may have more predictable schedule. Some may take even uh, once in 90 minutes, some babies may take once in two to three hours. But most of the time we should ensure that the newborns are not left unfit for more than four hours, uh, even if it is overnight. <coughs> the newborn babies should be breastfed at least eight to 12 hours uh, for the first month. But once your baby is about one to two months old, seven to nine times of breastfeeding per day, um, should be sufficient enough. Believe it or not, the milk starts producing uh, in the moms by about the second trimester, usually about mid-pregnancy, 16 to 22 weeks onwards. The first milk that gets produced is called cholesterol, which is really very high in carbohydrates, proteins, and a lot of antibodies also develop to fight many diseases. Some moms uh, to be usually have uh, breast milk production even in the second and the third trimester of the uh, pregnancy and sometimes they tend to stain their bras which is yellow or orange stain and also have some small leak from the nipple. And once the baby is born, uh, your body is prepped up uh, for uh, breast milk production and the first feed that the baby takes in is called cholesterol as I said and it's a hormonal process.